the SeaCat Grey Water Maintenance video. First, we will be turning on the system using this wooden gadget here. The valve closest to the surge tank here is the on and off valve for the grey water. And we will turn it this way. So now that valve is open while the sewer valve next to it is also open at this time. To have the highest flow into the grey water system, we will close the sewer valve. So now the sewer valve is closed. This is the initial surge tank and is the first barrel that will be collecting grey water from the house. The grey water is collected from the sinks, the shower, and the washing machine inside the house. As you can see, it's starting to dribble in there. <coughs> this plastic white object is the filter and can be taken off easily with one hand and then hosed off to clean the mesh, uh, metal mesh. So let's put that back on there. And the filter is secure. Okay, so now we are at the settling tank. Um, the water has already been filtered of uh, large solids um, and in here gets a chance to for the uh, smaller objects to settle down and the yucky fats to settle up. Um, so we open this. We have our mosquito filter designed by Miss Lindsay Payne. <laughs> <laughs> and um, as you can see, the uh, the fats have risen to the top, and the yucky stuff to the bottom. And there is our baffle, um, which forces the clean water to uh, go underneath and out into the marsh, um, preventing any any solids or fats to make it in there. And okay, so after being uh, filtered in the initial collection tank and settling tank, the water uh, flows into the marsh um, under baffles and over baffles and uh, through the rocks collecting um, the, the rocks which collect uh, some of the organisms on there and the, the plants like the nutrients um, that are some in the water. So just even more filtration, um, reducing total suspended solids and biological oxygen demand. Um, good. So this is the water quality testing tank, also known as tank number three. Uh, so now the water has been filtered, it has had all the fats, oils, and greases removed, as well as uh, total suspended solids and the BOD has been significantly reduced. So this mesh screen right here is to keep mosquitoes out and can be opened by releasing this spring here and then pulled off. <coughs> so in here this plumbing is to allow CCAT co-directors and any maintenance people the option of changing the height of the water in the marsh. This pipe, the top of this pipe is the level that the marsh will be once it is full. Uh, once it's here then it will overflow and exit through the irrigation pipe that you can see on the opposite side of this barrel. If uh, if the co-directors would like, the, if, like to drain the marsh to encourage root growth of the plants 
or to change the gravel in five to ten years and to increase uh, aeration of the water. Uh, then they would just screw off this pipe and then the water would be released until that level and as you can see now this water will be released into the irrigation system and filtered further through the soil. So after going through the marsh and filling up the pipe and coming uh, into the meeting the irrigation, um, we have a one inch diameter pipe um, that uh, at, at its deepest is around three feet and um, as lowest is around six inches. Um, at the edges, there is a perforated pipe to help spread out that water. Um, and yeah, we have we have an apple tree and a ginger plant and some uh, rose bushes, and yeah, we will see. If they grow up, it is a success.